and amen. Thank God for that. Uh, I, I don't want to worry you no longer than the Lord say. I do think I have a word from the Lord. Amen. Uh, from the just read scripture and the 44th verse. You find these words say, therefore be ye also ready. For in such an hour as you think not, the Son of Man cometh. The Son of Man cometh. And I want to talk to you for a few minutes from this thought. Get right for the flight. Get right. For the flight, I I, I I I I I I remember about two or three weeks ago, Joseph was packing, and he was packing to go to India. In the last day that he was here, he kind of labagasted around and 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 almost wasted that day. So some of the stuff that he really, really, really needed, he didn't pack. So I thought about that. I started to say pack for the flight. But because he didn't, 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 didn't get everything that he needed, his mother and I had to go out and get the stuff. And, and it cost more to ship it than if he had bought it. Amen. It pays to make sure you are packed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you got to make sure you got your stuff together for the flight. Amen. It, it's costly. Lord, help me. Father God, help me. Help me to give your word with clarity. And help somebody to understand that they need to get right for the flight. Let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. In Jesus' name, amen. And so I, I, I was saying it can be costly when you don't pack for the flight. Now, I reckon Reverend Hobson can, could work this one. I know he could work this one because he's in the air all the time. And I imagine that sometimes he left and he didn't get all, you know, Amen. that he needed packed. Amen. Amen. But, 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 but down here, we get another chance. You know what I mean? Like, can, Joseph, Joseph was able to get his stuff yesterday, uh-huh. though he left three weeks ago. Yeah. But this flight I'm talking about, you don't get a second chance. Are y'all with me? One shot. If you, you don't get it right then, you can't get it right. Amen. So I want to talk a little bit about that. Uh, you know, the disciples asked the Lord when they could expect the end of the world to come. That was in verse 3 of the 24th chapter. They, they inquired. They wanted to know when is the end of time going to come. Jesus tells them of the many things which will transpire in the last days. Verses 4 through 35. Then in verse 36 through 51, Jesus make a plea for men to be ready to meet him when he do come. In other words, you need to get ready. Now, I was, I was at a, a home going service yesterday, and, and the preacher preached right through my message. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and so, some of y'all was there, and y'all heard, you, you're going to hear some of it again. I, I told him at the end of the service, man, you just preached my Sunday morning message. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody told me, say, well, th- that, that's just confirmation. Amen? Yeah. Amen. He was just confirming what, what God had told me to do. 
Now, now, now the second coming of Jesus is not one but two parts. And I'm going to try to take my time. I don't know, like this here, right? Part one is an event that is called the rapture. At this time, Jesus will call all those who have received him as a savior to come home to heaven with him. At this time, he will raise those believers who have be already died, yet believing in him. He will take them with him along with those of us that are yet living. Are you ready? Now, this, this, this thing could be this afternoon. I'm talking about the rapture now. Could be tonight. Could be in the morning. Or it could be in the next moment. And if it's the next moment, would you be ready? Will you have your luggage packed? Well, you say, well, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm doing all right. I'm working in the church, and I'm, 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 I'm doing pretty good. But, but do you have the right stuff packed up? Do you have enough love to cover other folks' faults? The Bible says that a new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I have loved you. Now, he loved us over all of our mess, in spite of all of our mess. Do you have that kind of love packed up? Or do you still have folks... <laughs> that you can't do. You know, we, we don't say we don't love them no more. We, I don't do them. Do you have enough love packed up to overcome that? Or to compensate for that? God has enough love. You know, the word says for God, y'all know it. I don't know why you don't do it. You know what he says. So, but you gotta you gotta you gotta get your stuff packed up together, right? Amen. And then you gotta have some compassion for other folks. You, 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 sometimes you gotta put yourself where they are. Yeah, when they're going through, you need to be able to identify with them as opposed to standing like critics. Sometimes we say, that, well, they, they could have done better than that, but they, they couldn't do no better than their mind was. I, I tell y'all all the time, the church is like it is because, the, the world is like it is because the church is like it is. As a man thinking, so is he, huh? You can't do no better than you think. That's why the word tells us, be not conformed to this world. But be ye transformed. You, you need you need you need some renewing. You need another mind. Amen. In other words, if you're gonna do better, you gotta have a better, better mind. So so, but but when it, when this this incident take place, the rapture, there won't be no time to, to get to get it right. Amen. It's gonna have to be right. Not, 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 I said come in two parts, and then, then the second part is, is when he's going to come back in his glory and power. He's going to put all his enemies in their place. Amen. In other words, you're getting ready for the tribulation period. Amen. And you, don't, you really don't want to go through that. Amen. You want to be in the rapture. Amen. So my desire this morning is to tell you what the Bible teaches us about the event known as the rapture. And in doing so, I hope to show you the importance of being ready to meet the Lord Jesus. 
because just as sure as you're sitting here today, he will return. Now let's make a few, take a few minutes and, and, and look into the matter of the rapture and talk for a while about a need to get ready for the flight. The first point I want to make is, and I'm going to try to try to get through them. The first point I want to make is it will be sudden. In other words, it will be in the twinkling of an eye. Uh, somebody said that a wink of the eye is about one fiftieth of a second. A, a, a wink. But a twinkling is quicker than that. Now I want y'all to pay attention to me because I'm trying to, trying to tell you something this morning. A, a twinkling is quicker than that. They say, to tell me in the computer world or what have you, that there's a term called nanosecond. Mm -hmm. And somebody said that that's about a billionth of a second. Mm -hmm. That's quick, y'all. Mm -hmm. It won't be, t you can't even say, Lord, help me. in a billion of a second. And then the, you need to know there will not be any time for preparation. Either a person will be ready at that instant or he will not, or he or she will not be ready. So it's important today to be ready. Amen? Yeah. Amen. Because we don't know when it's going to be, but we know it's going to be quick. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The Bible is clear in its teaching that we, 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 that we not count on there being another day yeah. in which to get ready. Proverbs 27 mm -hmm. and, and, and 1. Do not boast about tomorrow, mm -hmm. for you do not know what a day may bring. And then, 2 Corinthians 6 and 2 says to us, for he says, in an acceptable time, I have heard you. In the day of salvation, I have helped you. Behold, now is the acceptable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. We can go so far and say now is the moment of salvation because we don't know what the next moment is going to bring. Amen? Right, right. Not only that, would it be sudden, but it will be solemn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's solemn because all those who do not know the Lord, Jesus will be left, mm -hmm. say, behind. Luke 17, 34 to 36, let us know that. After the rapture, there will be many who will look for their missing loved ones, but will never find them, and they will never see them again. Never see them again. Can you imagine not being able to see your babies no more? Not being able to see your brothers and your sisters no more. Not being able to see your spouse no more. That's why it behooves us to minister, first of all, in our own home. You know, we, 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 we talk about ministering, but, you know, you, if you just minister in your own home, that's ministering. I want all of my children to be saved. I want my grandbabies to be saved. My daughter to be saved. I want all of them to be saved. So I need to tell them that the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. Yeah, it would be, it would be 
you something. Yeah. The Lord said, then, is that faithful and wise? Who is that faithful and wise steward? Whom his master will make ruler over his household to give them their portion of food in due season. Blessed is that servant whom the master will find so doing when he comes. Now, I, I, I'm saying this because, reading this because it's important to obey God. It's important that when he come, he find you doing what you ought to do. Now, now some folks are busy raising hell. He said, we ought to be builders, not demolishers of the kingdom work. Amen? But, but, but sometimes you find folks right in the middle of the work causing all kind of confusion. God is not the author. And, and a, lot of, a lot of times, God bless you. Good to see you. But it's it, 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 it's good to want to be a leader. But it's another thing to lead. Amen. Yeah. The two, 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 you know, some folks think, well, because I'm, I'm in charge, I'm, I'm a leader. Yeah, you are a leader of a mess. I'm just talking. I'm just, and let me tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm finna go on vacation. And even if you want to cuss me out, don't call me in the next two weeks. By that time, y'all, you don't forgot about it. <laughs> Call these guys if y'all need to talk to somebody, all right? <laughs> but, but, but we need to make sure that we are constructive in what we are doing. Yeah. Lord, help me. Huh? So those that are involved in that kind of work probably won't be in the rapture unless they change. The good thing about it, he says, if you confess confess your sin that he's faithful and just to forgive you and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Now you can get it right or you can go on to hell. I'm just talking. I'll be serious. So it, it'll be something. You, you, you won't have time to. You won't want, want have time to go to First John 1 and 9 then. Not in the twinkling of an eye. You, you, you better go to, go to, if you're a child of God, you better go now. And get that straightened out. Amen? Not only that, but it'll be sudden, solemn, and then. It won't only be solemn, but it'll be, be, be it, it, it'll be sad and shocking. Many will expect to go with the redeemed, but will indeed be left behind. Matthew seven twenty one through twenty two. In other places, let us know here. Everybody that say, Lord, Lord will not enter into the king. And everybody that run around and shout hallelujah. You're not going to get in there. Amen. None but the pure in heart shall see God. God looks at the heart as folks look at the out of peers. I'm just talking. Huh? I'll be through in a few minutes. Yeah, it'll be shocking. It'll be shocking. It's going to be shocking because many folks have false hopes for heaven. But be not deceived. God knows the heart. 